Germany wants to arm Ukraine with Russian funds. Interest earned from Russian assets frozen by the EU should be spent on weapons for Ukraine, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said. The US and its allies seized around $300 billion in assets belonging to the Russian Central Bank in February 2022 when the Ukraine conflict escalated. The EU has stopped short of confiscating the money outright, proposing instead to direct the interest to Kiev. It is important that we also agree that this money can be used for arms purchases not only in the EU but for purchases worldwide, Scholz told reporters in Riga after a meeting with the governments of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. He endorsed a proposal by EU Foreign Policy Commissioner Josep Borrell about how the money should be allocated. According to Borrell, around 90% of the interest should be spent on weapons for Ukraine through the European Peace Facility Programme, while the rest would be allocated to EU budgets to support Kiev's own military industry. Germany and the three Baltic states want to see weapons production in the EU ramped up, Scholz added. The bloc and the US alike have struggled to meet Ukraine's demands for arms and ammunition. The US and its allies have pledged over $200 billion in military and financial aid to Kiev over the past two years, insisting that the conflict must be a strategic defeat for Moscow, even as they denied being directly involved in the hostilities. Kiev has called on the West to confiscate all frozen Russian assets in order to help fund the conflict. The US and Canada have been supportive, but the EU has remained sceptical. About 70% of all frozen Russian funds are held by Euroclear, the Belgium-based EU Central Securities Depository. These assets generated an estimated 4.4 billion euros in interest income in 2023 alone. The after-tax revenue for the assets could reach as high as 20 billion euros by 2027, according to some estimates. Moscow has denounced the freezing of the assets as theft and threatened a reciprocal response against the assets of EU-based individuals and companies within its jurisdiction. Russia threatened UK with strikes on British targets. The Russian Federation, in the event of the use of British-made missiles on the territory of our state, reserves the possibility of striking any British military installations, including those outside Ukraine. This was reported in the official statement of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, published on the department's website. Earlier, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that British-made missiles could be used to strike Russian territory. After this, the British ambassador, Nigel Casey, was summoned to the Russian Foreign Ministry. The Russian Diplomatic Department called on the UK authorities to think about what catastrophic consequences such actions could lead to. The ambassador was told that the Russian side views David Cameron's words as evidence of a serious escalation and confirmation of London's increasing involvement in military operations on the side of Kyiv, emphasized in the official statement of the Russian Foreign Ministry. Thus, Russia expresses its readiness to take radical retaliatory measures in the event of the use of British long-range missiles against Russian targets. It is time for the UK authorities to understand that such actions on the part of London will lead to the risk of a major escalation in Europe, including a direct military conflict between Russia and the countries of the North Atlantic Alliance. The use of weapons provided by Kyiv's Western allies to strike Russian territory has been called as a major red line for Russian President Vladimir Putin that many analysts predict could lead to an escalation in Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine that began in February 2022. But while Ukraine's military has increasingly targeted military sites and refineries on Russian soil, Kyiv has maintained that it has thus far only used domestically produced drones and missiles for such strikes.